Hi everyone, welcome back for another whiskey review. I'm on a journey at the moment discovering and recording the reviews of the Macallan Double Cast Core range. I've just finished recording the review of the 12 year old double cast and now I'm moving on to the 15 year old. Now, I touched on it a little bit before in the previous video with the 12 year old double cask, how just a big fan of the presentation and the heavy bottle McCallum used just feels that much more premium, so good on the hand, you know, just a big fan of a heavy bottle adds to the occasion a little bit. Now the 15 year old double cask, we do have it available in particularly in New Zealand quite regularly, that's why I refer to it as a core range, it is quite easily available, the double cask. The sherry ones are a little bit harder to find, but the 15 double cask reasonably easy to find. And just like the 12 year old, these ones are aged in both American oak and European. I'm assuming French, but the European oak cask it says, and they've been sherry seasoned. The whiskey, I like the I like the 12 year old double cask. This one's aged at sorry bottled at 43 percent so slightly high abv to the 12 year old which is at 43 percent now let's see how this one is different to the 12 year old double cast straight away you can tell if you've seen the video that i posted of the 12 year old double cast review this one is just that much more deeper and darker in color um not by much, but definitely you can see the difference there. That extra aging maybe is adding the color. I'm not entirely sure. All right, let's nose it and see what it's like. Oh, yes. Huge difference straight away. We, the 12 year old double oak, had that sort of mandarin orange zesty, uh, <laughs> orange citrusy sort of note. This one definitely feels a lot more like your other traditional sherry whiskies where there's just the slightest hint of cinnamon and more of the raisiny sweetness than the sort of citrus kind of character I was getting in the 12 year old double cask. So pleasant. Really good. At 43% ABV, I'm not, I wasn't expecting it to, but there's just really no um, burn as such on the nose. You can nose it nice and deep, and it's really pleasant. Sort of, almost like, I don't want to say sandalwood, but it almost gives off uh, freshly shaved wood shavings kind of notes. It's really good. All right, let's try and see what it's like on the palate. Mm. Wow. Way more heavier mouthfeel compared to the 12 year old double oak. Feels that much more oily as well. The gentle spice is all over the palate with the raisiny sweetness. I don't quite want to say it's sort of toffee, but that's almost too sweet where this is just ever so slightly on the drier side. And I'm enjoying that warm, spicy character on the palate. I actually recorded the review of Adrador 10 year old, which is bottled at 40%. And this one is reminding me a lot of that one, a uh, slightly heavier sherry character. But uh, overall, very pleasant, really, really pleasant on the palate. Very different to the 12 year old. I think your traditional sherry cask age whiskey drinkers could dabble into it. It's got plenty of the sherry cask influence in there to give you those um, amazing flavors you seek from a whiskey age and a good sherry cask. But there's smoothness there as well. And that's, I'm, I'm assuming, coming from the American oak cask. That's likely the vanilla type character and the overall smoothness. Mmm, really good. 
The footage I have to say is slightly length, longer than the 12 year, where the 12 year the finish was rather short. This one is lingering on the palette for a lot longer. Just loving the overall really warming mouthfeel. Wow. Quite nice. And I said before, I'm just a big fan of the bottles. Really, really good. Wow. Can't wait to try the 18 year old next, which will be in the next review. But there you go. I've gone and recorded reviews of two McAllen's back to back. And now there's two left. The 15 year old McAllen in New Zealand for us retails around the $240, $250 mark, which is getting up there. But hey, it's McAllen after all. There's packaging, there's prestige, and there's all of the other good stuff that McAllen offers. So it is a luxurious whiskey. It is out there available, and it's definitely worth trying with some good friends if you want to impress them with a really settled, really balanced, smooth um, single malt whiskey. Well, that's all I've got to say. If you're liking the content, please like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very near future with more whiskey reviews. Hopefully, the 18 and the McAllen Classic Cut. You'll be watching those reviews. They'll be coming up next. Thank you. Bye-bye.